visit some families here in uh, abroad, out of Egypt, we can see our kids and these people, they cannot watch the Arabic channels because they, they cannot understand Arabic or different culture. Then we think how to introduce for our people the Coptic Orthodox Church. And then we start to establish this channel. And uh, I'm going to show you his active person. He is monitoring this uh, channel. He is executive director to take care for everything in the channel. Thank you, of course, very much. <laughs> you know the information and knowledge now, we can take it through many media, newspaper, books, but now some many sites in the computer, we can have many information. Some of this information good and the other not good. Some positive and the other negative. But we can take the exact knowledge and that information from our channels because this represents the church, Coptic church. Then if any, anybody would like to ask any information, any knowledge coming through the internet, he can ask directly this channels and of course he can uh, have the answer by the right way from the right person. In 2009, 2009, His Grace Bishop Marcus started the channel CYC, Christian News Channel, with the blessings of His Holiness Pope Shenouda III, the one who said, Church without youth is a church without future. We have been now for two years and a half since November 2009. Since two, uh, November 2009, we are on uh, satellite TV. We started before that six months, six months earlier online and very few heard about us. On Mississauga, on Mississauga Road, I was just going from coming from back from one of the over IPTV company. I talked to them, and uh, actually I didn't feel that we are going to success even over IPTV at that time in 2009. So I just uh, I just pulled over, and I was sitting there and the, on the road just thinking and uh, praying, what can we do? Give me guidance, my Lord. So, all of a sudden it came to my mind, why we don't start a TV satellite uh, channel instead of online? And we started, just like that. It came like idea, and we started. And when we started, Amba Marus, he helped us a lot. He gave us the place and he was he was the founder of the idea itself. And as you know that Amba Moros started the idea of media long, long time ago in the Coptic Church. Since then, 2009, November, we grew up very quickly, thank God. We have now studio, as you know, the biggest one we, which we have in Toronto, and around 200 young people, your kids, your children, are voluntarily working with us and serving in the studio. I really, I can't tell you how even we started such a studio. It was a gift from God. We didn't, we didn't uh, buy it or we didn't, we didn't start the studio that God gave it to us as it is uh, last April. And with a little number or a few number of uh, young people, we started and now, 
they came over 200, 200 people are working with us. Not only from Toronto, and not on, only from one church, from many churches, St. George Church, St. Mark, St. Mary Mississauga, St. Tecla, St. Mina Hamilton, St. Demiana, St. John, St. Catherine Niagara, St. Mary, I think, Ottawa, St. Mark, Montreal, St. Mary, Vancouver, Halifax, Edmonton, Calgary, etc., etc. All the churches, or most of the churches all over Canada now are involving with CYC with some programs, which is great and a blessing uh, God sent us through your prayers. We grew up also out of Canada. So we have a studio in New York, in Florida, San Francisco, in the United States. We have a studio in Sydney, a place in Melbourne, a place in UK. All that, this is your channel CYC. On the top of all that, we have a studio and place in the heart of Cairo, Shobra al Khema Diocese, where his grace Bishop Marcus Bishopric. If you think about in the media, in the old days in Egypt, we had nothing in the media. Even five minutes, we were crying just for a few minutes in radio or TV. And we kept like that for a long time until in 19, uh, 2003, we started the first channel, which was Alabi, then a lot of uh, channels, uh, like four channels now belongs to the Coptic Church in Arabic language. But for you, no ID in the media. You don't have anything in the media. I know you, we are, you are proud of yourselves, but you have to understand that we don't have anything in the media in the English media, except CYC. It is the only channel and the only ID for you and for your children in the Western media. Second, to serve your children. To serve your children, it's very important. Think about it. Yeah, I know your churches are very great. I know you are doing a very good job with your kids, but still, you take them to the swimming pool every week and uh, to have some exercise and to the gym and many things. And you take them to the church only for uh, a liturgy or Sunday school, a half an hour or one hour maximum. That's all. And they are in the world for the rest of the week, getting information, a lot of information into their heads. And you can't stop that. The only thing you can do that a little bit of uh, spiritual stuff every day in your house, and it can be easily through CYC. So it's very important. Also, to evangelize the whole world. You are one of the rare countries that you have many mission churches which is very good. But what about the rest of the world? We need to evangelize everybody, even in Canada. Even in Canada. You can't even speak about Christ in your work, at your work or at your uni. You can't. And you, you say it's illegal. I know it's, uh, it's legal for everybody in the world to talk about their religion and uh, about their, uh, what, what their beliefs, but for Christians, no, it's uh, illegal. It's okay. You can tell any Canadian about your religion, about your beloved Jesus Christ, give them a hint that there is a channel online they can watch. I go among Canadian in the, in the flight or wherever I am, I just tell the Canadian 
we have a channel called CYC. You can watch it, cycnow.com. It's very easy. You will like it. It's very good for your kids. Why not just uh, to know about us as Copts? So you can send to anybody and evangelize them through CYC. CYC is playing a very important role to connect the youth with Egypt, our motherland and mother church. To do that, CYC is working now with the poor. You will say, CYC with the poor? Yes. I know there is many, all your churches and many organizations are helping the poor. Did you finish the poorness from Egypt? You didn't, and you will never. I am sure you will never do whatever you can. One poor, born 10 another poor, uh, poor pe pe persons. So they are increasing and increasing, and they will never stop. So CYC got a very brilliant idea. I hope we'll, we'll sell the idea, and I hope and I'm sure that a lot of people will help us in that. How many people out of, out of Egypt? Around three to four million people. Three to four million people. Can you imagine if I ask you not for your tithe or anything, just ten dollars, ten dollars a month from each one? That means we collect around forty million dollars or more, maybe fifty million dollars a month. And if we take this a whole of money and make one project, a very huge project for one of the dioceses in Egypt. And all the poor people, they will have shares in that project and they will work in this project. What does it mean? They will change from poor people to a businessman. They have shares in the project. Don't go and build for them a house. Don't go and uh, uh, look for a sewage for them. No, we will never do that. They will take care of themselves. We'll help them just to get a job and to have money. What do you think about that? It's a very, very good. After five years, 60 dioceses will destroy the poorness completely from all over Egypt. Yes, my friend, we have to think wide. Why we are always very narrow in our thinking and we are always everyone saying, yeah, I, I'm going to help the poor. I will give them a few thousand of, uh, of dollars. Do you think they will finish? They will not end. The poorness will continue. But the only thing that will, will cut and will, will kill the root of the poorness in Egypt. And after that, we can move to another countries if we can. So CYC is playing now a very important role even with the poor. And, and CYC is working with the orphans also. Do you know, I'm sorry to say, but one girl came to me one day and she said that she's in an orphanage and I'm sorry, but she, she told me that, that she's raped by the, the one who is in charge of the orphanage. I was mad and I cried. I said, no, no, why they're doing that? It's enough for you what you have from the, the, the world. And I was very furious. She said to me, Abuna, be quiet. Not only me, all of us. Oh my goodness, we have to tell the police and we have to do something. And she said, no, 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 you can't do anything because they will kick us out of the orphanage tonight. Do you have place for me or for my sisters? I said, no. She said, okay, keep quiet, Ibuna. It's okay, the time will come. And I was crying. And I was really hurt by what I heard. But what can we do? I, I was thinking how CYC can help also in or to help the orphans in Egypt. So I said, the only thing we can do that we change it to 
boarding schools, a kind of boarding schools, language boarding schools. We have many, uh, many families now, they have kids and they don't know where they, because they divorced and they rich people. So it's a boarding school, it will be very good, very good that one rich boy will take care of one, another orphan. So will not, I mean the, the expenses will come from one person will cover the other one. So by this way, we'll, we'll take, we'll wipe completely the label of orphans. He will not be in, any more orphans. I said, what will happen if the summer come? And the time of the summer, the, the, the boys or the girls will go to their families. What about the orphans? So I said, okay, I will start with this. A very big, huge project for the orphans, just building two schools, uh, play, playgrounds, uh, swimming pools. They can come and play and teach them something and support them because we found that 17% only of the orphans, they go to the universities and the rest not. And they make it on purpose. They don't want them to learn. They don't want them to get into uni. And by this way, they can't, they can't get anything at the end. After high school, the girls married to anybody and the boys kicked out of the place, they became homeless. So the only way that we let them go to the uni and find for them a very good job. So this is a very huge project CYC is starting for the orphans also. We are playing as a network also between the youth over the world, all over the world. Now through, uh, through CYC, most of the fathers and bishops are very known. If you go to Australia, anywhere in Australia, anywhere in Australia, and show them, for example, the, the photo of Abu Nabi Shuri Salama. They said, yeah, Abu Nabi Shuri Salama, I've even seen him many times in the, in the, in the program, in, on uh, CYC. Any bishops, all the bishops we bring to, that they have been into CYC, they are now, everybody knows. So network, it's playing a very good network, among uh, all over the world. And also, like one like Abu Anthony Masiha, now he became more famous than he was because of CYC. Abu Paul from uh, Mississauga. Yeah, I, today I'm telling Sayyidna Abu this is Abu Paul. He said, yeah, yeah, I know him. I, I, I have seen one of his program uh, on uh, CYC. So even the fathers we know, they became very known, and also the bishops. I want also you to think about 50 years from now. You are very happy that you are belongs to the church and your kids too. What will happen with your grandchildren? Are they going to think about Egypt or the church of Egypt? After 50, 60 years, as, as a study from George Washington University, we are the most, the most people in the diaspora connected with their homeland, church and people. Now, what do you think about 60 years? After 60 years, do you think your grand grandchildren, they will keep, they will keep connection between here and Egypt? or they will, you will forget about them. So this is CYC is doing, connecting the youth now and your kids with Egypt through many works. So they, they can come and work in Egypt and serve there with the poor, with the orphans, or they can at least hear about what is going on in Egypt through CYC. Now, I want you to, to see how you watch CYC. You understand now how CYC is very important and very essential in our life. How you watch it. You might say, I don't have a TV or a satellite. You don't need. 
You don't need a satellite. You need, you, you, can, you can watch it online, cycnow.com, or on YouTube, or GoTube, or Twitter, or Facebook, anything. And if you can't, you can buy very small, and we are very strongly recommend that, very small device called Roku, R-O-K-U, it's a very small device. You connect it to the TV, and you will get all the channels without anything. It will take from the wireless of the house and give you channels. It's only with 50 or 60 dollars and you will have everything, all the channels. Until now, we have CYC and uh, CTV. CYC and CTV. And all the channels are coming one after one. So, you can watch CYC on any IPTV or uh, over IPTV box uh, selling here in Canada or in the United States. You can, uh, you can know also that we are playing a very good uh, role or a network through our magazine, CYC magazine. Else I want to tell you, if you have a marriage, if you, are enga you have engagement, if you have anything like that, you can send us the, ta the tape or the CD and we'll let all the world watch you. And those who are not here, they didn't attend with you, the, your, your relative in Egypt, for example, they can watch on CYC your wedding or your marriage. All what I'm asking you now to invest in your kids, invest in your children, invest in the future of your children. They are in need of CYC, they are in need very much. And I would like to, on your behalf also to thank His Grace Bishop Marcos that he came all the way from Egypt to here just to be with us in this event. Thank you Sayyidina very much. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all.